Hey, neighbor. So I totally forgot to make a video and I was getting ready for bed and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, I forgot to do this. So I apologize if this is a little shorter than normal, but I am ready for bed. <laughs> So I want to get right into your question of the day. Uh, what's the best Call of Duty game in my opinion? So in my opinion, the best Call of Duty game is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Um, just because of all of this nostalgia I have about it. Um, but also it was extremely balanced in that none of the guns were like far and away superior to anything else. There was a time that I was only running the MP5, there was a time that I was only running the G36, there was a time that I was only running the M4, there was a time that I was only running the M16. I mean, I got gold camo on every single gun, so I, I definitely ran every gun, but like the shotguns were balanced too, like the, it was like you could play a different style on each of the maps, I mean yes there were three lane maps, but it was they were all unique. Like you can't name a three more iconic map like combination than Call of Duty has with Crash, Overgrown, and Vacant. Like there's no games. Maybe, maybe Halo Two with what is it? Beaver Hill? No, that's not it. That one, the one with the like platforms. I don't know. Like Call of Duty Four was just the best and had the gold AK. What was it? Gold Uzi, Gold Dragon Off, Gold Desert Eagle. I think I might be confusing it with a different with Modern Warfare Two. I was trying to remember what the campaign was to Modern Warfare Three, and spoilers for a twelve-year-old game or whatever. But I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare Three is the one that Soap dies in. But I thought Price was dead too for some reason. But then he's in the trailer for the new Call of Duty game, so, or it's campaign at least, so I don't, I'm confused. I, I don't really know what's going on anymore. I feel like I have to go back and play all of the campaigns again. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll keep, play all of the campaigns of all the Call of Duty games for the 360, just so I can remember you know, what happened in the campaign, so I know where, where we left off. But I feel like Price died at some point. I don't remember. It's been a minute since I played any of them. So I got my seven day streak for uh, Pokemon catches and uh, the research tasks today. I didn't get a Sinnoh stone or a Unova stone either. So that's super frustrating. I've been challenging the, the trainers, but it's so much less fun not having someone who plays Pokemon Go to just like battle them or trade a Pokemon. I need more friends, like IRL friends who play Pokemon Go that I can just like train and battle with and raid with and all of that jazz. I did catch my first uh, Giratina, Giratina, however we're gonna pronounce it. Uh, but other than that, I haven't really played Pokemon Go um, since our excursion. So um, I was just catching up on what happened in tonight's NXT. It's, it was the second time uh, that NXT aired on USA, like, I think it's done it before, but this is the, the second time in the Wednesday Night War era. Um, there was only an hour of it, but what are your thoughts on NXT's TV product? Is it going to be good enough to run head-to-head -head with AEW, which is gonna be their main roster, and technically this is the third brand for WWE? And kind of, what are some of the biggest stars from NXT that you want to see maybe make a move over to Raw or SmackDown or who's your favorite performer on NXT? Let me know. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter at 90sGuyKev. You can follow Tom on Twitter at 90sGuyTom. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90 Guys. Make sure to check back in every weekday for a new episode of the 90s vlog. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, Tom.